So you're walking down the road. <clears throat> Somebody stops you and goes, hey, buddy, can you draw me a picture of the U.S. economy? Could you? What would you draw? There's actually a couple of different things you could draw that uh, would uh, sort of meet that requirement. But what I want to do now is spend time talking about one of them. This is what a picture of the U.S. economy looks like. Uh, in fact, what most people don't realize is that the U.S. <clears throat> economy is really just the uh, exchange and interchange among three entities. The first are firms. Now, what's a firm? A firm's just a business, okay? A firm uh, could be, the structure doesn't matter. It could be corporation, it could be a partnership, it could be sole proprietorship. Uh, you know, you could even make uh, probably the case, well, for right now we'll say Satyrs Paribus and we'll take out nonprofit firms, but any, any kind of business structure, business entity is a firm, all right? The second entity are households. What's a household? A household is basically a collection of either an individual or people that live together, pooling their resources under under one living arrangement. So you know, traditionally we could uh, family um, with you know uh, you know husband, wife, kids, pets, household. Okay, but really any combination of people, um, <clears throat> you know, that live together. So you by yourself are a household. You with a roommate household. Uh, your, you know, your uncle uh, and his, uh, you know, gay partner or husband um, household. Uh, really, again, uh, any combination of people that uh, live together and pool the resources make up a household. Okay? Now, the third entity, government. And government goes right there. And there you go. The economy, the U.S. economy, actually any economy, but the the U.S. economy is just the uh, interchange among those three entities. And before I go any further, I want to clarify something. Whoops, kick the camera. That's not good. Um, perhaps you've heard the term public sector. The public sector in economics, the term public sector, almost always refers to the government. Okay, The government is the public sector. So uh, versus, maybe you've heard the term private sector. private sector. The private sector comprises firms and households, and that's the difference, okay? So public sector, always government. Private sector includes the business sector or firms and then uh, households or, or consumers, okay? So um, that's important to, to sort of understand. How, though, do these three entities interrelate? And that really boils down to an exchange of stuff and money. Really, that's really what the, uh, the economy is, right? It's an exchanging of stuff and money. And I'll start with this green, uh, green marker. And if it's green, guess what that means? Money. So this, in fact, is the green is the monetary flow or the flow of money versus the blue, which will make like that, is the stuff. We call that the real flow, uh, but uh, you know the, the easiest way to think about it is, is it's stuff, okay? And uh, <clears throat> for you, kind of the easiest way to kind of comprehend this or to digest this is uh, starting with what you are already an expert at. If you were born in this country or if you came to this country relatively uh, you know, early in life, then you're already an expert consumer because consumption's what we do, right? I mean, uh, what do you do when you're happy? You buy stuff. What do you do on the weekends? You buy stuff. What do you do with your friends? You buy stuff. What do you do when you're sad? You buy stuff. So I don't have to explain buying stuff for you. But what I do want to do is how do I represent this in this, uh, in this model? And, uh, you know... Here you go, right? On the money side, there's a certain amount of spending that you do in exchange for the stuff. And in this case, we're going to call the stuff goods. And then uh, I'm also going to put services. SVC is what that says. 
for services. So good is, uh, <clears throat> you know, any kind of retail level uh, thing you'd find in a, in a store. And the service is something that you, you can't really touch. It's more like laundry or a pedicure or, uh, you know, having somebody mow your lawn or, you know, clean your pool, something like that. Okay. So <clears throat> think about it. Spending, right? You go up to the store and you plop down, plop, uh, plump that, plump, plop, I don't know, put down uh, some cash and, and you get a guitar. That's that's spending, right? That's consumption. Uh, that's what you do. Uh, maybe you, you know, whatever you buy at a store, there you go. That's how it's represented, okay? Now, from the firm's perspective, though, they think about that a little bit different, right? So if you, if you take off your consumer hat for a minute and you put on your business owner hat, how do you view that spending? You view that spending, right, the, uh, the influx of cash that comes in from the sale of goods and services, you view that as something called revenue. And that is a loaded term, right? Any of you that have taken any accounting or any business courses, I mean, really all of business is predicated upon that. Um, that's such an important term that I'll come back to it in a later video and we'll talk more about it. But revenues huge right and from again the firm's perspective what's that stuff you're exchanging for that revenue that would be an output output all right pretty straightforward if you're a pizzeria what's your output uh pizza uh, if you're a snow cone stand what's your output snow cones if you're boeing aircraft what's your output aircraft so pretty straightforward so again, from the firm's perspective, that stuff and that monetary flow, that flow of stuff and the flow of money, uh, a little bit different uh, terms, even though uh, it's uh, you know the, the same stuff. Now, we're not done, right? If that looks about half done, that's because it is. Because this monetary flow continues. And as you can imagine, money is very important to the economy. Uh, I always say in class that, you know, money is kind of the lubricant that keeps the whole economy chugging along you know money is kind of plays the role as like you know it's kind of like oil in the uh, in your engine in your car right the oil lubricates everything and keeps everything going and uh, if you were to ever lose that oil out of the, your engine that's bad for the engine and if that money ceases to flow in the economy it's bad for the uh, for the economy so let's continue on firms if i'm a pizzeria right what's my output pizza well, what do I need to make that output? I need inputs. So what are inputs for, uh, for making pizza? Well, you know, dough, sauce, cheese, a pizza oven, uh, a building, employees, labor, right? Uh, you know, telephone system, computer system, parking lot, and all of those things, uh, utilities, all of those things go into our, our inputs for the production of uh, of our output pizza and in fact production kind of exists right here production is what firms do to inputs to make them outputs now in exchange for those inputs firms got to pay for them right so they make payments that's an M. so firms make payments for those inputs and, and again in order to uh, operate from the household perspective, though, these inputs and payments look a little bit different, right? Because think about it, again, take your business owner hat and put it back on your uh, consumer hat or household hat and, and think about it. What is the one input or resource that most of you have exchanged uh, or sold to firms? It's your labor. Right, so households provide one of the uh, primary resources to firms in, in the in the form of labor uh, in order to uh, you know allow uh, companies to, to operate. Okay, and then in exchange, what do you get for that resource or that labor? You get income, and this should kind of make perfect sense to you, right? Because it's like, yeah, I get a paycheck every two weeks. I get income. Why? Because I go to work and I, what you're actually doing is selling your labor to, uh, to firms. All right? Now, we're almost done with the, uh, with the drawing. The last thing is the government. And I didn't leave myself a whole lot of room. 
But what do firms and households give the government every year? Taxes. And what's the government give in exchange? SVC services. Right? Services such as defense, services such as infrastructure, infrastructure, you know, roads and bridges and things like that. Um, you know, rule of law, right? The well-defined property rights and all those things, uh, you know, the government provides. Actually, that's one of, you know, big discussions that's going on right now in society is exactly what should, what services should the government provide in exchange for, uh, for those taxes. But anyway, we'll, we'll leave that for, for another time. Uh, there you go. That's what a picture of the U.S. economy looks like. And it's not perfect, right? But uh, it is pretty good. It is pretty good in, uh, to help you understand the basic dynamics of how an economy works. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video now, and then we'll pick it back up and expand a little bit upon uh, this model. Thanks.